what is it? What, what did you have to say? Well, you'll forgive me if I don't hang around to hear it. Because I've heard enough. I'm going back to this station. Look, Sam, you can't go. What if Eve has a way to resolve this? You're going on a second honeymoon with David. What the hell do we have to resolve? It's obvious our marriage is over. No, would you stop saying that? What, what do you want me to say? You're going away with him to prove to yourself that you don't have a future with him, right? No, Sam, you don't understand. After That's 20 not... some odd years of us being married, why do you need proof, Grace? If you loved me, you'd have insisted that David sign those damn annulment Sam, papers. Sam, I do love you. But you love David more. <sighs> I'm out of here, Sam. Sam, Sam please, wait. I, I, I think you need to hear what I have to say. Eve, honey, what do you have to say that concerns Sam and Grace? Hey, you really look upset. You know, what's wrong, Eve? You're my best friend. You can tell me anything. <laughs> Sam, stop! Break it! Oh, Break it! John! John! Get out of this! You're gonna get hurt! Stop! I'm not going to let this guy beat up on my father. <laughs> for, for the love of God, you two, stop fighting. I can't believe you attacked my father, Chief Bennett. What's wrong with you? Yeah, what's out your father? What's wrong? He's the cause of everything. Everything in this house started, all the trouble started Damn. when he showed up. That's not true. If Mom had been happy, none of this would have happened. John, please, don't get involved in this. Yeah, John, don't get involved. I can handle myself. I can't stand seeing Sam and Grace torn apart this way. Neither can I, sweetheart. But, you know, it, it reminds me of your secret that you kept so many years ago about you having a miscarriage. But it brought us closer together. I I'm sorry that I, I didn't tell you sooner. Sweetheart, it's okay. I mean, you couldn't relive the pain again. But it doesn't matter because I love you. Mm. I love you and our marriage so <sighs> much. Mm. Eve, if, if there's something you can say to help, please. Yeah, you said it would help explain some of what's going on. Oh, well, uh, I was just going to say that I thought maybe if everybody separated it, went to, to different rooms and, and, and cooled off, maybe we could discuss this again. Look, there's nothing for Grace and I to discuss, okay? Nothing. Sam, can't you at least try? No. Forget it. DC, talk to I'll, I'll talk. Grace, come into the kitchen. Talk to me. Yeah. Come on, Sam. You need to take it easy. Take it easy? DC, my life is slipping away from me. Why the hell would Grace think that going on a romantic getaway with David would help bring her back to me? Come on, Sam. I, I don't know. I mean, I have known Grace for a very long time, and I don't think that she would do anything to deliberately hurt you. Not hurt us? T.C., we would have been together a long time ago. But she wouldn't let David sign the annulment papers, even though he agreed to. Because David would have lied and said that he doesn't love Grace when he does. And Grace is too worried about his soul to let him do it. You know, she doesn't give a damn about us, T.C. Listen to me, Sam. You know, I'm going to give you some advice that you've given me, okay? Calm down, all right? Don't let your temper get the best of you. I remember when I told you about that. I mean, like today, man. I, you know, I almost thought that Eve had been with another man. I almost lost it. What? What are you talking about, another man? It doesn't matter because it never happened. I'm gonna tell you, man, for a minute there, I thought that I was gonna have to rip somebody's throat out. But I stayed calm, and I realized that I was wrong. I'm gonna tell you, man, if I'd found out that Eve had been with another man, I would have attacked him. I would have attacked him just like you attacked David today. Damn it, I would have killed him. 
Eve had a miscarriage and you didn't even know that she was pregnant? Yeah, man, and I just feel so guilty that she had to go through it all by herself. <sighs> but why didn't she tell you? Because she knew how much I wanted a baby boy. And while I was away, she had a miscarriage and she didn't tell me because she didn't want me to be disappointed. Sorry, man. It's all right. I just feel bad that she went through it all by herself. But now, our marriage is stronger than ever. I'm really happy for you, TC. That your marriage is stronger than ever, even after a secret from your past came out. Thanks a lot, bro. That you don't have a man from Eve's past in your face on a daily basis. You know, I thought that I had a strong marriage until David showed up. Now I'm struggling to find a way to put my life back together again. In fact, I don't even think it's possible. 